Hey everybody, it's Angie from Trips with Angie and welcome to our presentation on Uncruise Adventures. I'm Angie Lusk, a travel agent specializing in cruises and all-inclusive vacations. And tonight we are going to talk about Uncruise Adventures. So we're gonna cover what's different about Uncruise, the onboard experience, where do they sail, and the current specials. So what's different? First, these are small expedition ships. They only take 22 to 88 passengers. They're inclusive. They include your excursions, cuisine, and beverages. They're immersive. Because of their small size, these ships can really go off the beaten path and get you into the wild, experiencing the wildlife and beautiful scenery all along the Pacific coast of North America. They have theme cruises, birding, craft beer, biology, musical entertainment, photography, storytellers, and wellness cruises, including yoga and meditation. You can imagine how much fun it would be to be on such a small ship with people you already know you have something in common with. Here's the fleet. It's nine different ships, various sizes. As you can see from the look, these are not those large mega ships. There's no rock climbing walls or water slides. And the activities can be as active as you want them to be. So the picture on the left is the dock that's on the back of many of the ships. You get into your kayak and launched into the water right from the back of your ship. That means that the captain can find a great spot, anchor, and away you go. They also have pat paddle boards and Zodiac ships to take you to shore. The cuisine is not your run-of-the-mill expedition cuisine. They really try to focus on the flavorful ingredients of the area and time of year and present beautiful meals every day. The cabins are efficient and comfortable. Again, for the size of the ship, you have to be efficient when it comes to the use of space. If you want the lofted suites with 1,200 square feet, that's not going to be on this cruise ship. So where do they sail? All along the Pacific coast. The timing of their sailing lines up with optimal times to view wildlife. You can see Alaska is April to September. And if you've seen my other presentations, you know that seeing an April or May sailing on Alaska is rare. They call it the Alaska Awakening Sailings because that's exactly what's happening in Alaska. The snow is starting to melt. The bears are coming out of hibernation. The tourists haven't quite woke up yet. So in those April and early May months, you're going to be the only cruise ship in town. You're not going to have to worry about a mega ship pulling up in Ketchikan and filling up all the stores and restaurants. The Mexico Sea of Cortez sailings line up with whale season. Hawaiian Islands, Costa Rica and Panama, the Galapagos, the Colombian and Snake Rivers are those beautiful fall months. And then the Pacific Northwest sailings line up with the ships moving to and from Alaska. So let's talk about Alaska. Can you believe that picture in the upper left? Oh, and by the way, all the photos in this presentation are from Uncruise. I'm using them courtesy of Uncruise. I mean, look at that Zodiac boat. You are right there with the wildlife. You have your expedition guides to take you on rainforest hikes, kayaking out as the waterfalls are created from the melting snow, and you get right up to those glaciers. I've been on a ship when a glacier has calved before, and it sounds like a gunshot, and these huge chunks of ice fall off right in front of you. It's absolutely incredible. And here you have a front row seat. Sea of Cortez, this is for you whale lovers. This is going to be your bucket list cruise. You can snorkel with sea lions, hike the desert landscape there on the Pacific coast. The Hawaiian Islands, you know how beautiful they are. You see the waterfalls, the rainforests, the hikes. You can paddleboard right from the ship as you cruise between the different islands. And on the bottom right there, you see the night snorkeling with the manta rays. I don't know if I'm brave enough for that. If you are, tell me in the comments. But I, the idea of snorkeling at night with an animal that big makes me a little nervous. But I feel like you have to do it because it's a bucket list kind of thing. 
Costa Rica and Panama, they sail year round, giving you a chance to interact with the wildlife. You can see the little monkey in the bottom left picture. The upper left picture is going through the Panama Canal. They go through the Panama Canal at night, which I think is a very smart choice because I've sailed through the Panama Canal in the middle of the day and it is so hot. Costa Rica and Panama are hot all year round, but sailing through the canal at night gives you a little break from the heat. You can also explore those off the beaten path locations. Some of the itineraries include the island where Survivor was filmed. I mean, talk about off the beaten path. This is a place where people had to learn to survive and you can go visit that. The Galapagos Islands, if you're not familiar with the Galapagos Islands, this is a wonderful ecosystem. It's its own ecosystem. There's no natural predators on the island, so the animals haven't learned to be afraid. They're not afraid of humans. They're not afraid of each other. You can really get up close and personal. It is a birder's paradise. Um, you can see the blue-footed bobby there below. This is an absolute must-do if you are a wildlife lover. And then the Colombian Snake Rivers bring a different take to it. So you're sailing through the rivers in the Pacific Northwest, enjoying the wineries, the beautiful scenery, the hiking, the bridges. And then if you want to head a little more towards the ocean versus doing the inland rivers of the Colombian Snake Rivers, you want to take one of the Pacific Northwest sailings to explore the forest. You can see there's a picture there of Victoria. And those are going to be, as I said, on the routes that lead to Alaska. So those are very limited, maybe only, you know, one or two per season. And with all of these, you definitely want to book them in advance. These are small ships. They will sell out. Right now, the current specials are on 2018 sailings. So it's $175 per person savings on the River of Wellness themed cruises down the Columbia River. $225 per person savings on the Alaska Adventure Sailings, $150 per person savings on the Rivers of Adventure Sailings, must book by March 31st. There are some additional terms, so just let me know um, what you're thinking and we can figure out what's going to be your best savings and your best options. As always, if you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. I'm here to help upcoming presentations. Um, you can see there we're going to talk a little bit about more more about cruising and then we're going to dip into all inclusives. And then April 24th, I'll actually be on an expedition ship cruising Canada and New England. So I can't wait to tell you all about it when I get back May 1st. You can always schedule a time to chat if you're ready to book. Uh, you can reach me at Angie at tripswithangie.com. Again, I'm a travel agent. I'd love to book this trip for you. Thanks so much for tuning in. I hope you have a great day.